Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Dark Souls 3. We are going to be starting up, um, well, I don't exactly, I know what it opens, but I don't exactly know what's there. Um, we're going to be grabbing the grave key. I got some oh. souls so that we can go ahead and pick this bad boy up by the grave key and let's Ashen go one. check it out. All right, so then we need to go uh, this bonfire, I believe. Um, I have been watching um, a couple of different people play through this game, so I do have a general idea of what I need to be doing. Um, I've just been doing that just so I have a general idea, so we don't have moments where I'm running around in circles trying to figure out. Um, and getting a general idea on um, what's in areas and stuff like that that I need to make sure and grab. Uh, because I never, I never said that this playthrough would be blind, um, it's like semi-blind, because parts like this I don't know what I'm getting myself into, uh, but then there's parts where I have seen stuff on them and stuff like that, so, okay, I hit somehow, there we go, what'd you drop me, large soul of a deserted corpse? I believe it's this door. Yep, grave key used. If you come this way, that should be pretty self-explanatory as to what it opens, because it says sewers. Clearly a sewer here. Uh, pray to the statue of Velka. Request absolution, request dissolution. So I'm assuming that is... The absolution is so that um, these come alive. Um, absolution is so that you can get rid of, uh, when you've sinned, uh, by invading as a red and killing people. I'm guessing dissolution is if you want to... Okay, these guys are coming to life. Now, do they get back up is the question. Once I kill them. Okay, these guys aren't too bad. I don't think they get back up. There we go. Um, and then I'm assuming dissolution is if you just want to be invaded by blues and you don't even want to mess with going into other people's worlds and killing them. Um, you can probably do dissolution to be... To, to have the game labeled you as a sinner. I guess is what I'm trying to say. What do we got... I thought that was an actual... I thought that was like an NPC. Invader. Oh, God. Oh, crap. I hit one more time. There we go. Alright. What is... Oh, what is this? Oh, it opens up into an area here. Alrighty, what do we got over here? Oh, that's a lizard. What am I doing? There we go. A heavy gem. We got a titanite shard. And a titanite shard. Oh, what the hell? Oh, hey, buddy. What are you doing down here? There we go. Got him dead. That's the guy that fell down uh, before when we were up to... Okay, so I know what area we're in now. Probably should have been able to put that together a little bit. Uh, easier. Oh, we got an item. Um, let's go ahead and shoot this down. I bought a bunch more arrows after I used them all cheesing those one guys. Okay, blessed red and white shield plus one. So that looks like where we're supposed to go. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, we got a rat. Come here. Okay, we've got more rats. This is like that uh, from Dark Souls 2, the rat boss. They're like coming out of the sewers. Only there's not as many. What is this? A uh, Saint's Talisman. What do I have equipped? Is this a Saint? Okay, this is just a Talisman. I can't use the Saints, but it is better. 
actually, well, spell buff is not as good. Its scaling is a lot better. But I don't think I want to put any more points. I don't want to put any points in the faith just for heal aid. Because as helpful as it is, I could just be using Estes, which is easier. So then I don't have to do this. I want to heal. And heal aid is actually becoming not as useful. Okay, so that appears to be a shortcut. Okay, we've got an NPC, I'd assume. Uh, who is that? Someone there? Anyone? Oh, please. Whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Wow, that is, that just sounds dirty. Ah, oh, yes, there you are. So close. Indeed. I'm not even touching her. Then I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. Pray, prayer gesture. Ah, uh, that armor is actually not bad looking. If I got rid of the hood, I, that might be a nice fashion armor. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Oh, sure. thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Alright. What's out here? I'm assuming this just takes us back. Okay, I know where we are. It's pretty much home. Oh, hey, buddy. Is this the... Is that the girl that he... Let's just You've see. gone and rescued her, have you? How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> yeah. Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon, a knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. Okay. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. Alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and run back to the bonfire. Save myself, uh... I don't know why I just attacked him. No, wait, where are you? Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm next to a bonfire. Well, actually, I am. Oh god, hot guy. Die, die, everybody just get away. Yeah, I'm going back to a bonfire, so I'm just gonna heal. There we go. And chug on up, okay. I think there's only one place I know of that I can go, um, and that's the uh, elevator that goes down. Now, I'm trying to think, where is that in relationship to where I am? Um, actually, don't. I'm trying to think, where is it? it? It is back. Okay, okay. Let me hit that bonfire. Because I wasted Estus. I'm just gonna run by these rats. Okay. You know what? Actually, let me go. Well, no. Oh, I think I'm stuck going. I'm stuck going this way now. Okay. 
probably should have just not chugged all my Estes like that. But I'm just gonna run by the Skellies. And I think I'm going the right way. If I'm going the wrong way, then... If I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Oh my gosh, where did you come from? Fatty wasn't here before. Leave me alone, Pyromancer. Climb, hurry up. Go, 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 go. I just don't want to take the time to kill all of these enemies again. We just killed them. Okay, so now we just head back out here. And this should... Is this the right build? This isn't the right building. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. We just need to go down instead of up. And I think that's the area we need to be at. And I believe... I'm trying to remember. I watched this last night. I believe there's a bonfire past this Frost Knight. So I'm going to go grab that and then we'll come back and kill the Frost Knight. Because I would not bet on myself to kill him first try. Even though I don't think he's too hard. He's like a mini boss. He's kind of like um, what the fire that fire demon was that we killed earlier. I think he's kind of similar to that. He's like a he's like a mini boss. All right, buddy, let's go. Oh crap. Oh, I can't roll. Crap. There's a bonfire, I don't have to worry about saving Estes. Okay. Oh, I'm frostbitten. Let me back up. Get a heal off. He's pretty much dead. Dead? Yeah. Alright, he wasn't too bad. The Erythal Straight Sword. Ooh. Let's check this out. Head back to the bonfire. We'll rest and then we'll check out this sword. I bet I can wield it. I should be able to wield like any straight swords I find. Uh, where is it? If. Er, Erythal Straight Sword. Whoa, that's awesome! Oh, that's, that is sweet! But how good is it? 124 damage, where's my Uchi? My Uchi is better, but it's also plus 2. But this is, this, this weapon has an awesome effect. So let me, let me use it here. Okay, so we got a new enemy going on here. Oh, what the sh the shit? All right, calm down. Okay, so um, I think I'll get some free hits on them if I kill them before their wings sprout. That's what I'm thinking now. Let's do this. Go ahead and plunge attack this guy. Got a shriver, shri shri shiver, is it shivering stone? Is it shriving stone? Or is it a shriving stone? Undo, oh, undo weapon infusion. That's nice. So you can test out a weapon infusion, then you could use that if you sucked and you picked a bad infusion. Okay, right over there underneath that bridge looks like somewhere where you can drop down. Looks similar to, uh, in Dark Souls 2, where they had the, um, the Huntsman's Cops, and they had that drop down. Uh, that looks similar to that, so we'll check that out when we get over there. Uh, we've got some enemies. What is over here? Okay, so I three hit them with the Uchi. Oh, well, there looks like, there's definitely a place I can go. Um, because obviously I can see an item. Alright, so we got enemies here. Oh, we've got an enemy up there. 
Um, let me see. Can I sneak by these guys to the left? I don't think I did, but come here. This thing is... Oh, no, it's not. It still took three hits. Alright, let me come over here. Alright, I can drop down there. I'm not sure what that is. Um, let me come kill these guys first. You, come here. Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with one with wings. Okay, if you can just kill them before they take off, before they take flight, should be good. What is this? Um, it doesn't look like anything. Ranged battle required ahead. Alright, so I guess this is my only option, is to drop down right here. What do we got here? Oh, we've got another path over here. We've got a- we got the Brigand X. Ooh, we've got an NPC. Let me- let me not fight you! Oh my gosh. Oh crap, that was not what I wanted to do. I'm out of stamina for some reason. Oh crap. Chug. Okay, back off. Got him. There we go. Oh, what the? Really, game? Really? With that? So I'm gonna have to... Okay, well. Brigand Twin Blades. I'm gonna run back. Actually, I wonder if... Hold on, we'll just save and quit. I'll see if that fixes it. There's the Brigand Armor. So this is just a bunch of Brigand stuff. Um, Let me see if saving and quitting works. If that thing is stuck there, that's stupid. I'm gonna be annoyed. Alright. Please don't do this to me, game. The I, That's the Butcher's Knife. There's like a million guides on it, because it's a beast weapon. It's the one weapon that you probably couldn't make it to. If you looked up anything Dark Souls, it is probably the one weapon that you can't, you couldn't miss. Like, when you looked up anything Dark Souls, it, it had a bunch of guides. And it had guides from, like, Fighting Cowboy. Who I think is my favorite. No. Um, yes, okay, good. It reset the item. There we go. Butcher's Knife. Do I have the, the requirements to use this thing? No, I don't have the strength. But, okay, yes, I know I don't have the, no, I can't use it, I can't use it two-handed. Okay, so you need 24 strength to this. The big thing um, that you want to do with it, if you have it, is this, is the sharpen, because you regain health when you use it. I might work on getting my strength up to 24. Um, oh. oh my god. I might work on getting my strength up to 24 because it can actually be a really useful weapon if you're low on health and out of the Estus because you can actually get your health back. So I might actually work on getting my strength up. Let's see what's going on. So we got to route this way. Wait, is this an enemy? Oh, it is a lie. Usually enemies... Usually, if there's just, like, a dead corpse on the ground, you can walk through it. So you got another Titanite Shard. Probably can almost upgrade my Uchi, so that's good. Okay. I don't want to go... I don't want to drop down there. The next area, I do have a good idea of what to do and what route to kind of take. I don't really on this one. Now, where is that drop? This is... The, oh, here we go. Oh, I was right. This is like, um, don't forget, the Huntsman's Cops in Dark Souls 2, where there's that drop down underneath the bridge. So that's why I dropped down here. So we got a dog. Come here, puppy. Oh, we got two dogs. There we go. Where's the other? What the? Where'd the other dog go? 
Um, alrighty then. So we got Morin's Ring and Real Divine Tome of Kareem. What is? What are these? Uh, doesn't look like they're there. Here we go. Uh, Braille Divine Tome of Kareem. Learn High Miracles of Kareem. Okay, so I assume I give it to that one girl I just found that said she was from Kareem. And then... What else did I just pick up? The Morn's Ring. Boost Miracles. Okay, so that doesn't affect me. Cause I'm, well, I guess it does. I could use it... Oh, this is a red eye enemy. Okay, he only took three hits too. I don't know why. I thought red eye enemies are were supposed to be stronger. Okay, so we've got some guys there. Um, what rings do I have on? Is there a ring I can take off for that? Not really. I don't want to. For the just the. I guess you know what? If I can, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna remember. Here, fly up. Can you not fly up? What the heck is the point of your wings if you can't fly up here? God. There we go. A little plunge. Yeah, suck on these. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm getting stunlocked in the corner. Oh, crap. Okay, run away. Okay, we're at a new area. This isn't what I wanted to do. Die. Just die. Jesus. Okay. Um, yeah, let me... Let me grab this bonfire. Didn't even mean to come over here. Okay, I don't want to rest Eddie yet, because I don't want those enemies respawning. We're going to go back and kill him. See if there's any items or anything. I need to perfect the slow walk up on enemies. Oh, I got it! Yes! There we go. Oh, and then I kicked him off the edge. <laughs> Alright! And an ember, nice. I can always use embers. I didn't go ahead and co-op yet. I'll do it tonight, probably. Just to stack up on some embers so that uh, I can use them freely. I can get the back there. Oh, well. Okay, no, I did, there's... Okay, that's the end. Alright, that was a nice and short area, so now we are on to this area. I think it's at the Road of Sacrifices. So we've got two NPCs here, so let's go talk ahead and talk to them, and then we will uh, we'll start whatever this is. I don't know where... Okay, never mind, I thought that was somewhere... It looks like we're going there, whatever's up there, but let's go ahead and talk to these two. <coughs> Alright, he gives me the blue sentinels. Is that, is that the uh, banner? The blue sentinels banner? Okay, so we got an oh, achievement. Hello, how do you do? I'm Anri of Astora. Unkindled like you. This is Horace, a friend and travelling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? We're well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the Cathedral, home of the grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. Oh, yes, Horace. He's not very talkative, but don't think ill of him. He is an upstanding, kind-hearted knight, a fine partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. Um, I just got invaded by Cedric Runbum. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Be okay, we already... 
Where's the guy that invaded me? Is he over here? Oh, there he is. Alright, so I'm fighting low on Estes. I should have rested here. Alright. Let's get killed. What is he doing? Alright, let's let's get destroyed by this guy. Okay. So we've got a blue sentinel in here. And the homies, he just dipped. <laughs> the blue sentinel didn't even get here. <laughs> All right. Well, that isn't that just the stupidest thing ever. I mean, why are you gonna invade if you're just gonna dip if a blue sentinel comes? There's no way he left because I healed. No one, no one does that. I healed because the blue sentinel was here, and I was like, well, I don't want to waste the blue sentinel's time by getting killed before the blue sentinel even gets over here. So I was just gonna let the blue sentinel kill him. I wasn't even gonna do the two v one gank. I was just gonna watch and see if the blue sentinel was some hot. It's always funny when the people who are Blue Sentinels are, like, as bad at the game as I am. <laughs> and they just come to help and they just they just get destroyed by the red. Um, because most of the good people that PvP are reds, not blues. So, it tends to be that you usually need to gank, almost, because the red is going to be better than the blue. I would say 9 out of 10 times. So, the blue is going to probably lose to the red. But, that's just my opinion. We'll go offline, because I don't want to keep getting invaded. Um, that's the first time we got invaded. It's actually a summon sign here. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you all in the next episode. I'll, I might stay online. Whatever. We'll stay online and just see. Because there's blue... Since this game is so highly populated right now, I should have no problem with blue sent finding blue sentinels and all of that stuff to to help me if I get invaded because admittedly I'm not I'm pretty bad at PvP, like in all honesty. Like I, I don't I don't pretend to be good at PvP because I never play it because it's just not what I like to do in this game. I just like to play through the game repeatedly. Um, you know, I'll PvP every once in a while and usually usually lose, but in all honesty, most of my builds when I PvP'd on Dark Souls 2 weren't PvP builds, so... Who knows, maybe I'll do some PvP in this game more than I have before, but that's gonna do it. Let me shut up and end the episode, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!